on international hunting, most of your guides are pretty good and they know they know how to make the cuts for your trophies to be able to be sent back home. Um, things that you need to know as a as a hunter is you need to know what you're going to do with it. Are you going to do just a shoulder mount? Are you going to do um, a pedestal mount which requires a little bit more skin or a life size? On all life size you need to be sure you keep the anatomy with it because um, it will need to be there to, to put the put the piece back together. Um, on a pedestal you want to make sure you make a little longer cut. I always tell people get half of the belly area all the way back in. Um, that way you have more skin than you need. And uh, um, shoulder mounts just your basic same thing you would do as a, as a basic white tail. When you uh, cape this out you want to take it behind the burrs on both sides and do a Y cut. And then you want to go right down the very center of the neck and go across the shoulder blades and on past about eight inches. That way you have plenty for anything you're going to do. If it's a shoulder mount or a pedestal mount, you'll have plenty of extra skin. On the legs, you don't have to really tube it. You can actually come in from behind where you make the circle cut around the body and you can come right into the back side of the leg and then go right down to the knuckle, the first joint where it, it um, it folds and then make make your cut there and then skin it all the way back. Um, it's easier in the field if you do open these up. Um, it makes it easier to skin and easier for you to be able to get it out a little better. And uh, that's pretty much it.